Tommy, not the result we wanted. Again, unfortunately, in a little bit of a bad run. Well, what were your thoughts after that one? Much the same as yours, probably. Um, you know, you've got to give credit to the opposition at the end of the day. We both had something on the game. Um, and you'd argue theirs is more intense than ours, and that maybe is how the game panned out. But look, we've, we've had really good performances this season. Not that many average ones and one or two really tough watches and that was a tough watch because it's one of the few games this season I felt, even though we've lost other games, that we just couldn't work out on the pitch how to um, breach what was really strong, you know, positive Boreham Wood side. So you've got to tip your hat to the opposition sometimes. Um, and because of the occasion and everybody knew what was on the game. But, you know, we're, as far as I'm concerned, we're still in the, in the race um, and we've got two games to play. Few dark arts out there in terms of time wasting, a few shirt pulls and stuff there, but I guess that is part of it, isn't yeah. it? And fair play to Boreham Wood for doing it, I guess, because you know they got away with it all game and, yeah. and it worked out well for them. Do you think maybe sometimes our players have got to know that's coming and, and, and step up to it a little bit more? Well, you know what? I'm not sure it's dark arts. I think it's experience. I think you know we are the youngest group in the division, um, and a lot of lads. I, I heard or I read somewhere the other day that people were saying, "Oh, why are we so?" you know, heavy in the card system. Our young lads react like young lads. Blokes don't react like that. So on occasions we've picked up yellow cards today where for nothing, for absolutely nothing. Like you said, people have been getting away possibly with this or that. But look, that as far as I'm concerned, I thought the referee had a fairly solid game. Um, I just think they were faster, stronger, more more keen to the ball. Um, and when they got their noses in front, I mean, we, that doesn't faze me, to be honest. I know it's frustrating for fans, but you know, the game's 90 minutes long. We had plenty enough time. I just felt one or two lads who, the younger echelons of the, of the, of the squad, they're probably up a hill. If we're going to try to climb to the top this season, it might be that we just fall a little bit short. But it's they they're live in a different season. Last year, they were getting beat at most weekends. Um, they didn't have a lot of, you know, really positive vibe around the place. I think, for, fast forward 12 months, we've had a, we've we've made history in the FA Cup. We've we've had a shocking effort in the FA Trophy, but we've had a really really good go at the at the the league. And my remit was, don't be looking over your shoulder when it comes to January, February. Well, all we've done is look up from, you know, whenever it is, it's November, December. Yep. So we're the same as any other team in that top third of the division. But we're having our poor spell now, and it's up to us, me as a, as a manager and my staff, and the players to you know not feel sorry for ourselves. We've got two games to play. We want to try and take six points from the two games, and I'm sure as eggs is eggs that everybody who is in here, or the vast majority of the people who are in the ground tonight, want the same for us. So we've got to be collectively having the same intention. I'm sure you'll tell the players this week, won't you? Brush that to one side, get get it over and done with. And I think one way of doing that, is, especially as it was our last home game today, looking at the home record we've had mm. this season, you know, it was a big thing talked about when you came through the door, wasn't it? We want to win games yeah. at home again. Mm. And you look at our home record this season compared to the last few, and yeah. it's eclipsed it. Yeah. And and that's something we can definitely take forward, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I mean, there's so many positives from this season, look, in, in terms of... The recruitment, Jamie, I and the staff, you know, went through it this time last year. All the hard work was done. So as when we came back for pre-season, we were really confident that everybody tipping us for relegation was like, yeah. no, 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 it's not going to be that. And, and thankfully, we've been proven right. But like I said, it's very different playing in a team who wants or is expected now to, to win games, which I've got no problem with. That's what it's all about. Um, but ultimately, a lot of my, our players who are here were used to losing games. And there's a very different pressure in that in that situation but I think a lot of our players have grown massively you know from Ryan Glover's Yarley Harfields I think they've improved massively um, Josh Stokes has come in and ripped it up in the first five months and he's not our player anymore so that, that's another example all of these things in my opinion are huge ticks in the box for us as a football club because of the level we're playing at to have brought Josh from step, step four him rush through step one and go into the Football League as quickly as he has. And I'm sure there'll be takers on some of our players after the season finishes. In fact, I know there will be. So that's, they're the punches we've got to roll with. But look, I wouldn't change much of this season. I've been honest with you. I wouldn't have changed many team selections that I've done as much as other people would. But that's why I'm standing here with a suit and a daft tie on. So, you know, 